clock is brought to you by Mo. Oh! 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 Want to do? Do you have a chance and risk getting knocked out? Oh my God! In MMA, all it takes is one shot on the button with four ounce gloves to end the night. We've seen some of the most devastating and brutal knockouts that have left competitors stiff as a board or lifeless on the canvas. In today's video, we'll be counting down the top 10 knockout artists in UFC history. Be sure to stick around till number one. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video if you love MMA. Without further ado, let's get into it. On the clock here in the first round. And that kick will take oh! Number 10, Donald Cerrone. Nicknamed Cowboy, Cerrone is a mixed martial artist who was signed to the Ultimate Fighting Championship and competed in lightweight for a majority of his career before moving up to welterweight. He became a part of the UFC roster in 2010 after World Extreme Cage Fighting merged with Dana White's promotion and all WEC fighters were transferred over to the UFC. At UFC 126, Cerrone made his promotional debut as he defeated Paul Kelly via a rear naked choke submission. He retired from MMA at UFC 276, leaving behind one of the most remarkable UFC careers ever. He also holds the record for most knockouts in the UFC, 20, and is tied for the record for most post-fight bonuses, 18. And none of this includes his 10-fight stint in the WEC where he racked up five Fight of the Night awards while still under the Zufa banner. Cerrone won a total of 36 matches throughout his career and had 10 of those wins through knockouts. He never got the strap, but he broke records and will go down in the Hall of Fame. Anyone, anytime, anywhere is a major reason why the fans loved Cowboy. He's gonna break his arm. Ah, ah. Number 9, Dustin Poirier. Dustin the Diamond Poirier has had an incredible career inside the world-famous octagon, with fights against massive names such as Conor McGregor, Habib Nurmagomedov, Charles Oliveira, Dan Hooker, Max Holloway, and Justin Gaethje. Poirier has executed some of the most devastating knockouts in UFC, showcasing heavy-handed striking with pinpoint accuracy. In 2021, Poirier shocked the MMA world after handing Conor McGregor the first knockout loss of his career. I'm trying to, uh, the work that I put in, I'm trying to make it pay off. I'm trying to put my family in a better position, and this is no different. I know what a winner Oh, oh, oh no, my God! That's the ball! Oh! But it wasn't the first time that the Diamond has put his opponents to bed. Fighters like Bobby Green. Up here, Mike, and that's a mistake. Oh, oh yeah, with that left. Akira Khorasani. Beautiful stuff. Lovely upper. That is beautiful from Dustin Poirier. Those are the little Justin Gaethje. Big left hand for four. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Poirier continues to land. Oh my gosh, he does it. And Eddie Alvarez. have all felt the sting of the Diamond's punch. Throughout his career, Poirier has won 10 fights solely through knockout and eight of those coming in the lightweight division, where he's the all-time leader of knockouts up to this point in time. Lewis in Number eight, Junior Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos is one of the most devastating knockout artists the UFC's heavyweight division has ever seen. The former UFC heavyweight champion has TKO KO finishes against former champions like Gabriel Gonzaga, Frank Mir, as well as other respected names like Mirko Krokop and the man who has the most KOs in UFC history, Derek Lewis. With a total of 10 knockouts to date, Sagano no doubt deserves a spot here for being one of the most vicious knockout artists in the world. Widely considered one of the best fighters in the world, Santos displays the fortitude and resilience to push through countless rounds of punishment even when matched up against the baddest man on the planet. Along with his fight with Frank Mir, where he showed exceptional hand speed and accuracy. So even though he is more involved with pro wrestling recently, the name Junior Dos Santos will always ring bells when mentioned. Technical, very short, crisp. Oh, Number seven, 
Cain Velasquez. Two-time UFC heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez is known for his insane cardio. Equipped with an engine incapable of losing steam, he's rarely outworked or outmuscled inside of the cage. He pushes the pace like he's middleweight while methodically imposing his will and brutally beating opponents to a pulp. His style may not be the most flashy or versatile, but it's consistently good enough to turn some of the meanest dudes on the planet into ragdolls. Look what he did to Brock Lesnar. He showed him zero respect and flat out destroyed him. By sticking to his opponents like a moth to a flame, the Mexican masher suffocates opponents with elite wrestling and an unsatisfying appetite to grind. The constant threat of wrestling leaves his opponent's chin exposed and he capitalizes. With a total of 10 KO victories out of 14 fights, with 79% of his fights ending in KOs, Kane is one of the greatest heavyweights and knockout artists of all time. Is there for Biggie Boy? Oh! Oh! Number 6. Francis Ngannou Francis the Predator Ngannou's punching power is equivalent to getting hit by a Ford Escort at top speed. Whenever he steps foot in the octagon, it's almost a given that somebody is going to sleep. Back in 2017, the UFC Performance Institute measured Ngannou's overhand right and an uppercut from his right hand. He set a new world record for the most powerful punch. This was impressive, but super scary. And Francis Ngannou has the world record for the most powerful punch. His punch is the equivalent to 96 horsepower. The Predator has laid many a heavyweight to rest with a single shot. There is often a lot of hype about his right hand, but his left uppercut is equally as damaging and has knocked out many opponents as well. With 10 of his UFC victories having been won via KO or TKO, it's safe to say that Ngannou is one of the UFC's best knockout artists of all time. Almost all the Predator's wins have come by way of KO and TKO. One of the most vicious knockouts in all of MMA came against Alistair Overeem at UFC 218. And Ganu landed a monstrous uppercut on Overeem, less than two minutes into the first round, which sent the former K1 champion to the Shadow Realm and gave him a devastating follow-up hammer fist for his troubles before Big Dan could save him. Death squad, leg lock. Number 5. Tiago Santos before his career in fighting, Tiago Santos was a paratrooper in the Brazilian army. Maheda is a wild man. His fighting skills have been described as, for lack of a better word, berserk and unpredictable. He is a true finisher. During his run inside the octagon, Santos has finished 11 of his opponents by knockout. He has done so in two different divisions. He is a danger with any appendage and boosts speed and power combined. Santos is tied with Anderson Silva for the most knockouts in middleweight history with eight. His most iconic KO is a head kick KO over Steve Bossy. The walk -off knockout for Tiago it was the quickest knockout of Santos' career. It was one of the cleanest, most vicious knockouts in his UFC tenure. Santos eventually moved up to light heavyweight where he fought for the belt against John Jones, where he lost in a controversial split decision. On his road to fighting for the title, he racked up three straight brutal knockouts against Eric Anders, Jimmy Manua, God, they're just so oh! Oh, oh, man, it. It. and Jan Bohovic. Maheda is one of the most devastating finishers in UFC history. Number 4. Anthony Johnson Anthony Rumble Johnson has shown he can do it all and do it with a fearsome head-hunting style. He's one of the scariest knockout artists out there. He started his career at welterweight and started dropping bodies. Rumble had six knockouts before eventually moving up to light heavyweight. He didn't lose any of his power. He was relentless against Gustafsson back in 2015. Anthony Rumble Johnson! He's he was patient against Phil Davis. He's trying to find a way to win. His mind and body are free to do what they were born to do, beat people up by plungering them with his limbs. Under striking coach Henry Hooft, it was all in full expression. Rumble's head kicks and punches are equally dangerous, and it's hard to stop them, thanks mainly to his use of fainting. He is barely ever threatened in the ring. Johnson surely keeps it rolling, People who have felt his power either go to sleep immediately or jump straight to plan B. With notable KO victories over the likes of Alexander Gustafsson, Jake Rusholt, and Antonio Rogerio Nogueira. 
Rumble has a total of 11 knockouts, five coming in the light heavyweight division. Nice leg kick by Irvin, and Irvin's in trouble already! Number three, Anderson Silva. The former UFC middleweight champion is widely regarded as one of the GOATs. He seized the title from Rich Ace Franklin in dominant fashion. The Spider's quickness and pinpoint accuracy combine to create a unique, inimitable style. He has some of the nastiest highlight reels on the roster. Anderson also racked up three knockouts at light heavyweight. He dismantled James Irvin and flat out destroyed the former light heavyweight champion, Forrest Griffin. I mean, that's just amazing. It was kind of embarrassing. Forrest ran out of the octagon before Bruce Buffer had a chance to announce what happened. Honestly, if we were to name all of his knockouts, this video would take forever. Regardless, when you've knocked out as many opponents in as many ways as Silva has, you find yourself near the top of any list discussing being generally awesome at beating people up. With 11 KOs, Silva is sitting on a 61% knockout rate, a strong percentage given how long he has been fighting. What gets him the nod over some of the other fighters is how versatile he is in taking out opponents and the creativity he has displayed in doing so. Oh, he got right. he left hook. Number two, Matt Brown. There's a reason folks know Brown as the immortal. Brown is another fan favorite in the sport who gave it all every time he stepped into the octagon. His fights in the UFC octagon since 2008 spanned 28 fights, including a spot on the Ultimate Fighter Season 7 that earned his position on the roster all of those years ago. Brown made his UFC professional debut against Matt Arroyo on June 21, 2008, fighting on the preliminary card of the Ultimate Fighter 7 finale, a fight that he won by KO-TKO around three minutes into the second round. Brown has some of the most vicious knockouts. The most brutal that comes to mind is the elbow he landed on Diego Sanchez that sent him headfirst into the mat. Nice knee there up the middle by Brown. Whoa. He flopped over onto his back and Big Dan stepped in to save him from unnecessary punishment. The Immortal's ability to secure thunderous knockout wins and his legendary durability have always been respected by the MMA community, making him one of the deadliest knockout artists out there and earning him the number two spot on our list. Nice oh. it. Oh. Number one, Derek Lewis. And at number one, we have the most prolific knockout artist in the history of the UFC with 13 UFC knockouts to his name, none other than the Black Beast. What he lacks in skills compared to other fighters, he makes up with arguably the greatest punching power in UFC history. Nobody hits quite as hard as he does, and it's a gift that's gotten him out of some sticky situations during his fights over the years. Lewis opened his UFC career with the knockout of Jack May back in 2014. And while he lost two of his next seven fights, it also took him until his eighth to go the distance in the octagon, as he knocked out all five of the opponents he defeated. Essentially, Lewis's knockout power is probably the UFC's greatest equalizer, meaning the Black Beast can never be counted out in a fight. The best part of a Black Beast knockout is the celebration at the end, humping the mat while looking his downed opponent in the eye and nodding his head. That's it for the top 10 knockout artists in UFC history. What's your favorite knockout? Who's your favorite knockout artist? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for more MMA content.